Here we go. 27 degrees. 27 degrees. Starting mileage. 23420. Boy, I don't know if that's an. I think that's either an 8 or a 9, so I guess we'll call it. 43420.8. That's the best I can determine because it's exactly between, so I don't know if that's an 8 or a 9. Well, today is December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day. Just realized that when I went out to take my temperature. Let's see, from 1941, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, 1, is an 11. What would that be? My brain's not functioning good enough to figure out how many years that is. 53? 53 years, I guess. <sighs> no, it has to be more than that. 50 years plus Pearl Harbor is, uh, that takes you into the 90s. Oh well. What can I say? I haven't had my second cup of coffee yet, so. Math is hard. Let's go shopping. <laughs> yeah, so I'm on my way to the hardware store, but I'm going to take kind of like the backwards route. Just get a little bit more miles on. Beautiful Sunday. I see quite a, people all, quite a few people have already qualified in the Polar Bear Challenge. Got their qualification ride done. going to pick up a box of 100 different screws. We've got all these light fixtures that each panel uses about three screws and there's like over a hundred of these panels and we're always losing the screws. They're little teeny tiny black machine screws and they're kind of decorative. I couldn't find an exact replacement but I could find something that was almost exactly the same only in silver rather than black so that can be solved easy enough with a sharpie or a uh, can of spray paint because <clears throat> it's just the heads of the screws that have to show on the outside of the fixture and as long as they're either black or dark brown they're way up in the ceiling and nobody will really notice the difference <sighs> I've been slowly changing over to LED on certain fixtures and uh, last order we got these $20 a piece LED bulbs really nice industrial type of bulbs we got them for six bucks a piece but we had to order about three case lots so uh, I asked them to put six more of those in for me so I got six of them up, up in my overhead and as my fluorescent light fixtures go bad I'm just gonna replace them with the uh, industrial type LED lamps And be done with changing bulbs for quite a while. I think easily those things once you put them in can last about 10 years or so. <sighs> so anyway I was lucky to get the ride in now the warm-up is coming and I think it's actually technically already here the only reason I'm even able to uh, my normal riding time is about nine o'clock after the sun's been out a little bit to dry the pavement but it looks like the pavement's acceptable right now. But uh yeah, normally I wait till about 9 o'clock, but at 9 o'clock it's going to hit either 32 or slightly above 32, so that wipes my chances out, so I had to get out at 8 o'clock to get that low of a temperature. But then it looks like come Tuesday we're going to have another little cold snap again, so that'll work out okay. My goal this year is to try to get more than I think the most I've ever gotten. I, I don't know really, this is another one where my uh, not enough coffee brain probably is going to get it wrong, but I think... I don't think I've ever done more than 12 rides so far, so if I could get 13 or 14 rides in this year, I would be happy with that, and that would be a new accomplishment. But actually, believe it or not, this year 
is actually uh, my most enjoyable year for the Polar Bear Challenge. Yeah, yeah, I know there's drama going on, but there's drama going on every year in the Polar Bear Challenge, you know. Somebody's mad at somebody or somebody's upset over something, but uh, that doesn't faze me. I'm doing it for me anyway, and I'm doing it to try to learn, so uh, this is the first real time that I feel like I'm a confident, and I'm not saying confident to the point of being stupid, but I'm at least a halfway decent um, cold weather rider, and I can ac actually at least uh, judge conditions well enough. I know how to dress the right way. I know how to take care of my motorcycle the right way to get it to start reliably and everything. And you consider the fact on the Polar Bear Challenge, we have to accomplish all these things and still do a little bit of videotaping and filming at the same time. Not quite as easy as it is in the summer, is it? It's one thing to uh, accomplish all these things while the weather's really nice and warm and all that, but uh, how about accomplishing the same thing? Oh, I just went to a dead end here. Oh yeah, this is where um, years ago, now you can see they have some Christmas decorations. This used to be a place every year where the people would go to see these people try to outdo each other. Now, I can see it's really toned down now, but it used to be this was the place you went at nighttime and they would have like four or five houses that would just every year they would try more and more to outdo each other so I would always make the effort to come and they got their little things collapsed down. It was kind of funny the guy not next door to me but two doors down from me he has one of those Santa displays like that with the inflatable one and the way it collapsed this time it looked like Santa was just lying face down like he fell down drunk or dead so I looked at that and I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> Drunk Santa. Yeah, so for me, this is the year I really feel confident that I could, uh, if need be, use my motorcycle all through the winter, minus the uh, really, really nasty days. Obviously, I'm not gonna, after last year's experience, I'm not driving on packed snow or ice anymore not where a cruiser motorcycle belongs but there are enough good days even in the worst of winters you could actually get by even as far north as Chicago as you could get by using a motorcycle for your regular transportation you just have to schedule your shopping trips and stuff like that and shop with uh, sometimes two weeks worth of groceries and things like that and it's very doable so I'm almost at the hardware store and then I will give the ending mileage and we got another ride in the books. Ending mileage, 43, 423.6. 43, 423.6.